Nikocado Avocado's Two Steps Ahead video has garnered the attention of the entire internet. A complete transformation of one's imagery in such of an unnoticed. No pictures, no hints, no sightings. Does a man that has been told to be on a weight loss journey and seemingly failing to even progress, only to be at the finish line all this time? It's as simple as a man that decided to change his life for the better, but that isn't quite what has happened. A twisted story pushing the boundaries between fact and fiction, what is real and what is the speculation. This was never the villain becoming the hero. It was the villain winning. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping. To bear witness, to observe all these unwell, unbalanced, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories. Nicholas Perry, a violinist and Home Depot worker, moved to New York City to pursue Broadway orchestra. At this time in 2014, his partner, Orlin Homa, being in the YouTube scene, convinced Perry to create his own YouTube channel named Nicocado Avocado, making vegan lifestyle vlogs and showcasing his musical talents. Two years later, Nicocado moved away from veganism because of the hostility and toxicity of the vegan community, deciding to make mukbang videos, a form of video where a person or more eats a ridiculous amount of food which gained him popularity. But in return for that benefit, the more unhealthy yet appetizing and many the food he ate, the more it was survival. His health started deteriorating, causing him to have manic episodes even while recording his mukbangs, which became a controversial trademark for his mukbang videos of acting abusive, crazy, and emotionally unstable. But in a Mel magazine interview in 2021, he takes advantage of those manic episodes because it drives up viewer retention and makes himself as a unique gimmick, using it as clickbait to entice viewers into watching his content not because that they like mukbang content but they want to see the crazy outbursts he has. In the same interview, he also boldly claimed that a feud between him and a YouTuber named Stephanie Sue, who accused him of stalking and harassing her while collaborating with him, was all fabricated for attention. And while that claim is still questionable, the fact that negative attention towards him is still attention is still present throughout his entire career, often clashing with YouTubers and being mocked by others, constantly driving his image of a crazy lunatic that just so happens to be fat and unhealthy. By November 2022, Nikocado was clearly at the lowest point of any public opinion. He was seen as an unhealthy, crazy, and disgusting person who would do anything just to go viral. However, one of his attempts to go viral and gain attention from people was an odd video dubbed Two Steps Ahead, where Nikocado would go on a monologue, acting as a villain calling out his entire facade of clickbaiting and faking his manic personality. This video would be taken as either a serious out of character video of Nikocado or a cringy as lord script being made fun of to death. However, as the story continues further, the question of what is real and what is just fiction becomes more and more intertwined. In September 2024, Nikocado would return to YouTube after a 7 month long hiatus, starting off the video with the exact same monologue he performed 2 years earlier about being a villain. But instead of the video being a typical crazy mukbang, it was a completely different looking person. Putting it at face value, Nikocado had undergone a 2 year weight loss journey, but to avoid any sort of suspicion of his journey existing. He pre-recorded his usual mukbangs before he started losing weight, tricking people into believing that he is still the same fat degenerate he was. And while that is all said and done, the nature of this surprising announcement was unsurprisingly questioned. Because of Nikocado's nature to fabricate his own behaviors as an act and doing everything in his career just for views, to what extent does he tell the truth here? Many people believe that he used an Ozempic weight loss medication, a popular drug used by countless celebrities to lose weight. But because of Nikocado's obesity, it should have been clear that he has excess fat skin, but he doesn't. And while I am not a medical profession by any means, using drugs alongside doing skin removal surgery isn't a very viable operation. So at the very least, Nikocado has most likely lost his weight to natural means and had a skin removal surgery to remove excess fat. But if that is the case, 2 years of this weight loss journey not being noticed by anyone is just something. I mean, maybe Nikocado has an indoor gym and can hide his identity in public. But not even a single picture of his journey or even any say from his closest associates, Nikocado just seemingly and maybe intentionally just popped out all of his weight in a day. 
In an article by The Conversation about the topic, it talks about the bigger picture of Nikocado's weight loss. Even though Nikocado practically tricked people, he gained overwhelming support simply because he did something that they wanted. Misinformation seems less unethical to us when it aligns with our own politics, and our willingness to give certain falsehoods a moral pass. Nikocado constantly lied about his health and well-being, which he has been criticized for. But when he lied about his health again, but now as a more healthy man, people called him a genius. Another point the article discusses was the fat phobic and weight stigmatic effects of Nikocado. How weight gain and loss is now a form of entertainment, minimizing the dangers of mental illness and body dysmorphia. I know I sound like I'm just throwing in random words to make the entire ordeal more commentary-esque, but what I'm saying is that Nikocado's weight loss isn't about the ant farms and baiting viewers into consuming his content to see his downfall, but also about how the way that people's bodies have extended further as exploits for entertainment, and how it has reached to this point of different harmful effects that while can be minimized into just a parasocial idea, but still exist among different kinds of people. What you watch doesn't just signify what you are looking at, but what it makes you feel. And I'm sorry, but the whole opinion on Nikocado isn't just that you don't care or that you think that he should take a run. People resonate with him in some way or another. It may comfort them, envy them, or just entertain it. And while you could say that Nikocado did a fiddle and tricked everyone, just because he did one beneficial thing doesn't resolve all of the negative things that may have happened throughout his career. This story isn't just about haters and internet fame. It reflects our collective social behaviors and changing norms around consumption criticisms, and authenticity. When the lines between performance and reality is blurred to make a point, there can be benefits but we must not forget the harms. Back in 2019, Nikocado did a collaboration with a YouTuber named Stephanie Su. However, during the collaboration, Stephanie Su would accuse Nikocado that he was harassing her through text and also pressuring her into doing things that she doesn't want to do and talk about. Nikocado years later claims that the entire feud was just a play and that they faked it all for just views. But with Nikocado's history of constantly lying, I'm not too sure. Stephanie Su has a husband that wants to stay anonymous during her videos. So as a way to keep his identity a secret, he wears a panda head mask to hide his face. Do you see the similarity? While Nikocado directly stated that it was used as a metaphor to state the internet was not black and white, there may be a different intention with this move, maybe to say this former collaborator? Well, maybe. Just maybe. You see, coincidentally, Nikocado used to wear a panda head mask in his older videos, almost similar to Sue's husband. Maybe there's a deeper reason or it's just a coincidence, but I won't ignore the fact that Nikocado knows what he is doing, which is stirring up controversy. The last point I want to talk about was what did he achieve? Diving more deeper into his whole villain monologue, he sees the people who talk negatively about him as ants in an ant farm. One follows the other, referring to the public opinion towards him, but states that they can be easily manipulated and brainwashed to believe anything. He performs this by uploading a pre-recorded footage of himself eating food while still appearing fat, tricking the viewer that those entire two years, every new upload was a Nikocado they see in that time, but was actually a Nikocado way before the video's publication and that now he reveals himself to be a more healthy person and tricked the viewer into believing that he was still fat all the time. Why? I mean, I understand that he achieved something by finishing his weight loss journey, but for what reason does he want to do this? What was his end goal? To make people love him? To get more attention? Because if this is his intention and he achieved it, but at what value does he provide? He's still the same person as he was, just not the things that he was infamous for. Then what does he do now? He already used fat phobia for his benefit, now he wants to use being skinny as entertainment. What does he want to achieve in this feat? Well, I can tell you. Absolutely nothing. He doesn't care about anything about value, he doesn't care about the people he hurt. All he wants to do is cause a complete mess just for people to watch him. He wants attention because it is his job. He doesn't listen to us because he wants to, he does because he knows we will watch him again. And he is completely conscious about this. He refers to himself as the villain. Never the hero. He didn't turn around and become a new person. He was always the same person. Now, just not using his crazy personality for views, but now using his weight loss for views. But while achieving what he wanted all this time, he did prove something. People can be the most vicious people you know, and be the most supportive people ever. Because you went the other direction, which they would follow. A leader among ants, now joyous and supportive. In that case, I guess he is a genius. 
a genius actor. That's what keeps people's attention. They like to sit so. I'm willing to be the villain because I know it will keep people talking. He has the desire to play the villain because he'll know that it'll keep people tuning into him, over consuming the very idea of Nikocado Avocado. But this time, he made something that they wanted. Turning the idea of negative attention is so attention into good attention, driving the most attention.